give Ann another round of applause for putting this together. It's great, Terry. It's great to be here. We want to here to give some welcome remarks, um, but I want to welcome you to America's seaport here at the Port of Los Angeles, America's spaceport here at the Port of Los Angeles in San Pedro. I also want to welcome uh, you to the home of LA's best black coffee. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> and LA, LA's best beer, Brewery West, for the high school students are going to have to wait a few years for that. But I'm um, hoping uh, after today's conference you have a chance to, to um, look at and, and taste LA's finest beer. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to one of the single most important geographic areas of Los Angeles for the technology sector. While the, uh, the harbor area has long been known as a blue-collar town with fishermen and longshoremen, they've all been raising their families here in the course of the last 100 years. The future of the harbor area has begun to materialize, and the future, we all feel, is blue tech and green tech. In the past five years, we've done so much to uh, position Los Angeles as the capital of the Pacific Rim and one of the new, great new modern cities, worthy to serve as an example of the world and worthy to host the 2024 Olympics. Los Angeles is special because of its place that attracts the brightest and most talented people from around the world. Uh, the creative, uh, that creative talent, we feel, first benefited the film industry but it's now quickly expanding to other sectors. As we enter the next phase of the digital revolution, LA is leading the, cha the charge to convert information into experience. And the key ingredient that's driving this shift is LA's resource. It's creative talent, like the people in this room here at Craft. Creative technology is our key ticket to creating high paying jobs and further stimulating our entire region's economy. If you look at Snapchat, Facebook, and Google, Yahoo, they're all here in Los Angeles, and so is Elon Musk, SpaceX, and Tesla. Here in the San Pedro and Wilmington and Harbor Area communities, we're fortunate to have the largest port complex in the United States, which is responsible for one in nine jobs in this region and one in 50 in this country. SpaceX has moved to the port of Los Angeles, making it a spaceport as well as a seaport, and the Harbor Gateway is home to Faraday Future, which is a car company working to reinvent the wheel, literally, into the auto industry. We're doing this here in the Harbor area with Alta C as well. At the Port of Los Angeles, Alta C will bring cutting edge jobs and inspire the next generation to fight for a more sustainable ocean. Alta C is also bringing in um, the Boeing company with its Echo Voyager, Voyager operation, and the Catalina Sea Ranch, which you'll hear from later on today, spawning the next generation of marine-based industries here in Los Angeles. In addition to diversifying our workforce with the tech sector, last month we announced Molina Healthcare bringing 600 jobs to downtown San Pedro. They recently signed a long-term lease agreement uh, at Topaz. Molina is moving to San Pedro because they too recognize the unique geography and amenities that we're building out. Let's give Melina a round of applause. <laughs> so we all feel that the, the Harbor area is becoming a shining example of the future of Los Angeles and much of our success is due to the Port of Los Angeles. Our port is the biggest economic, economic engine and our ticket to the future. We, we must commit to making our port a cleaner neighbor as well. Uh, though we've cut emissions of over 80% over the course of the last 10 years, we have to do more. And that's why I support making our port a zero emissions port. But in order to achieve that, we need people like you. We need to advance our technology. We need to get to the next level. And I believe, and I know you believe, we can do that. And this is why the Port of Los Angeles is an ideal place for technology companies to move to. We not only have uh, problems that need solutions in the goods movement industry, the space industry, and the marine technology industry, but we also have the best amenities for tech workers, like the coffee and beer and others coming <laughs> online, um, to take advantage of it while working for uh, on a create, creating a, a better uh, place to live. 
Uh, we're also building a new destination called the San Peter Public Market. We talked about the amenities. The San Peter Public Market, which will be the anchor for our long waterfront promenade that stretches from the bridge all the way down to Carrillo Beach and to the breakwater. We have an emerging arts and cultural scene and we're building more housing, residential in downtown San Pedro. The promenade, which will, um, which the port began building the World Cruise Terminal under the Vincent Thomas Bridge in 2004, uh, has been making its way up Harbor Boulevard and ultimately will hit the Cabrillo Beach area through um, going through the new downtown harbor, continuing through the new San Pedro Public Market and on its way to the Cabrillo Marina uh, here across the street. And by 2020, we will have uh, continuous access to complete our, our waterfront. But since it's taken office in the last several years, we, we got a new Harry Bridges Boulevard crafted at the Port of Los Angeles, the Catalina Express Terminal, and welcome to Battleship Iowa to Berth 87. We've seen major events here at the Port of Los Angeles. We've welcomed Cirque du Soleil, a Red Bull Rally, Cross Relay, a number of concerts, and much more events throughout the last several years and more to come. We built the beautiful downtown San Pedro Harbor, where we hosted the world's largest rubber duck during the Tall Ship Festival that year, and more work is underway. All the pieces are starting to fall together. The stars are aligning here you know, with very special development that are taking place for this entire LA waterfront. The harbor area is positioned to become a dense job center um, in Los Angeles because of the investments the Port of Los Angeles has made into our community over the past decade. LA is a constant work in progress and we will never be done. We must recognize that uh, all Angelinos live in a very special and re relevant time in our, and it's our job to shape the best possible future for ourselves and for future generations. We here in this room and beyond are all dreamers, we're also doers. Uh, so once again, we welcome you, we thank Brain Theory and all of our partners for putting this together. Um, and I do want to um, let you know that uh, we are on the map. We are, um, we are an, an emerging town coming together. Um, I've often, and by the way, per square footage, for those who want to um, land here and bring your, your, your office space here, we are per square footage uh, the uh, cheapest waterfront property in the state of California. So now is the time to come and bring your companies here. Now is the time to invest. As I mentioned, stars are aligning you. Thank you so much uh, for your interest and your participation. And I'll turn it back to Ann Carpenter. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day.